You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about basketball Hall of Famer Cynthia Cooper, now known as uh, Cynthia Cooper Dyke here in this video. Cynthia Cooper was one of the uh, first superstars of the WNBA. She won four straight titles with the Houston Comets and was a was an MVP of the WNBA. She's also the former head coach of Texas Southern University. Now, guys, there is some pretty crazy accusations out there about Cynthia Cooper that has come out. Twenty five plus players and staff have come out and have made allegations against her of verbal abuse. So check this out. Basketball legend Cynthia Cooper Dyke accused of abusive behavior by former players, according to reports. And this is here on Fox News over here on, Out on Outkick, which I'll get to. They really go into details on what she actually said. But it says here, women's basketball legend and former Texas Southern head coach Cynthia Cooper Dyke was accused by multiple people, multiple players, I should say, of degrading and abusive behavior, which included using overt sexual language that led to a Title IX investigation by the university and her subsequent retirement, according to a bombshell report by The Athletic. Now, she was not fired. She retired. Now, it says here the report published Thursday revealed several accusations leveled by players at Texas Southern about inappropriate rem remarks made by Cooper Dyke, including sexual references and shaming players, physical appearances. Now, when it comes to their physical appearances, according to uh, what's on Outkick, it kind of ties into a uh, uh, sexual language language also as well. So let's jump over here to Outkick here. And this is the language that was actually uh, put out here. So I'm going to read this. Cooper Dyke allegedly said to a depressed member of her team, quote, no, she will be all right. She just needs some dick. That's all before adding that the player is a sorry ass version. In 2021, 22, Cynthia allegedly told a staffer who had a suggestion, uh, quote, get the fuck out of my gym, my home, go home. You're a sorry ass bitch. You're a nobody. While one of her other players was doing squats, Coop allegedly said, quote, oh, your hips are big. You got a fat ass and I can tell you like to ride some dick. <laughs> In another allegation, Coop would say wet, wet after shots were made and turn to one of our players and said, I bet I bet that's um, what I guess somebody's name was last night. I bet that's what whoever name was was last night at Texas Southern in 2012, 2013. A male assistant allegedly complained about not having a social life because of early practices that prevented him from going out. Cooper Dyke allegedly, uh, quote, proceeds to get in front of him and on her knees and pretty much act like she's going to. You can read the rest right there. A player told investigators in another incident, Coop supposedly told the team a player running slow during a drill was because she was getting dit down all the time. Players also accused Coop of naming uh, plays hot sets and calling players retarded, black ass child, bitch, pussies, and dumbass. Wow. That is a lot of pretty over the top allegations right there. I don't know if this is true or not, but uh, Cynthia Cooper has come out and said, uh, nah, this stuff, none of these allegations are true. Uh, she said this quote throughout my years as a coach. I've had countless interactions with players in my role as their coach, mentor, and friend. I had positive relationships with the majority of players and staff, and my only interaction was to maximize players' potential and help them to be their best. While these allegations are untrue, everyone deserves to work, play, and learn in a respectful environment, and I deeply apologize for and regret any words used during the course of a spirited game or practice that offended or hurt someone. 
Texas Southern declined to comment on specifics citing the Title IX investigation, but added, quote, please be assured that the u- university takes any issues that impact the safety and health of our students, faculty, and staff seriously to ensure a learning environment free from discrimination, harassment, and violence. So, guys, there you have it. That is the allegations laid out against Hall of Famer Cynthia Cooper, man. This is this kind of crazy right there, especially, you know, where she uh, got down on her knees in front of a male assistant. That that's kind of crazy right there. That's kind of crazy right there. I don't know what to make of this, guys, but um, I'm just here to report what was going on. Uh, allegedly, anyway, that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.